Hello, Api developers. My name is Bharat Juneja. In previous session, we extracted response data with JSON path, and in this session, we will discuss the remaining features of Web API definition in Blue Prism. So let's get started. Go to the Web API definition, and we can see this enabled feature of the Web API definition. When we uncheck this enabled, then this will become disabled in the Process Studio. So let's go to the Process Studio, take an action stage, and here we can see the Web API service is not the part of this drop down. So let now enable this and go back to the process studio and here we can see this is now available in the action or in the drop down so this is how we can enable and web api definition now let's click on the edit and click on this button and also this enable feature is available here we can enable it from here as well now we next feature is common header as we have already discussed about it we can create a common header means if a header is common in one or more actions then we can create it as common header next one is common parameter similarly we can create parameters means we can create common parameters if these are common in two or more parameters and also we can expose this to the process studio if we uncheck the expose button it will become disappear let me reset the process and then check now when we select the web api service open weather now we can we can't see the city input earlier there was an input for the city but now it is not available so we can expose this parameter or we also we can set the initial value of this next one is the authentication type we can configure an authentication type for the action in the api definition there are different type of authentication we can select the type and then we have to uh, enter the credential tag you can select the credential tag which you want to use and then again exposed to process if you check this it will become an input in the process studio and we can assign the name to this parameter now when we go to action let's reset the process and then go to the action and select the web service and select the action and here we can see the parameter for the credential or for the authentication as this is the common authentication so it is available for all the actions of this web api here we can input the name of the credential tag now go back to the api definition and common authentication and here we can select different type of authentication we will post a video on all these types we can assign a credential tag from here and we can uncheck the expose button if the input uh, is not required from the user or from the process studio then we can uncheck the expose button now we can see it is not asking for the credential tag let's move to the next part which is common code in common options we can add the external references and also we can add the namespace so if we add a namespace we have to add the extension for that namespace uh, there should be a dll file for that particular namespace we can see we have system.data namespace and we have a 
external reference for this system dot data dot dll similarly for system tab and here we can select the language in which we want to write the code and here we can write the code shared code so this will this code will be common for all the for all the action hello world we can type it here and also we can compile the code and check the error just click on check code and it will show you the list of the error or the warning if there is any c we have some compilation failed errors we can see it here and let me show you where can we add uh, where can we use this code let's go to any action and in the response we can see this like in last video we have added this output parameter in response and here we can give the name of the parameter and we can select the data type and in this method we in last video we use json path but in this video or in this session if we want to use the code then we will use the common code method and this json path option will be disabled we won't be able to enter anything in the json path because we are using the common code and we will be able to enter our code here we have two integers and we want to add both and assign the result to the parameter which is parameter one so we can do like this parameter one will be a plus also we can use the common code here means uh, we can assign any value to the common code and uh, assign the results or output of the code to a particular parameter it could be a op uh, common parameter or action specific parameter or output parameter and here in the right side we can see response content will be the output and this is the input no parameter one is the parameter one is the output and response content is the input okay common code is done now next one is the action when we click on the action we can see the list of all the action of this api and we can see the method and the url path and the description of the action so in case you have a uh, 20 30 action you can see the list here next one is the action name description enabled enable request data object parameter so enabled is also similar uh, to that if we enable this action then it will be visible in the process studio otherwise is it won't be visible in the process studio see we have disable one action now that is why only one action is showing in this drop down and the another one is disabled next option feature is enable request data output parameter so if we check this in one action and we uncheck this in the next action let me uncheck yeah so now it is checked in one action and it is unchecked in another action so let me show you the difference means why we use this let's reset this and click on action and select that api and now in the output we can see request data as an output but when we select the another action now the request data output is not available so if we check this then it will enable the request data as output parameter otherwise it will disable that last one is disable sending of request the parameters in these are the action specific parameters and request we have already seen this in the previous videos we can select the method url path and the body content there are multiple body content single file multiple file we will see all these content in the upcoming videos 
and also custom code is there in request so we can use the uh, co code in the request and the response both thanks for watching guys do comment your doubts and questions